Yo, what's up guys? I'm going to show you how you can connect multiple Wi-Fi routers at home. All right, guys, I have marked each Wi-Fi router with each purpose. So if you have an internet connection at home, naturally your ISP or your internet service provider will give you one Wi-Fi router and it might be sitting in your living room. The problem would be it might not be able to reach some parts of your house. So you would think of adding additional Wi-Fi routers like basement Wi-Fi, then attic Wi-Fi. Now I'm going to show you, like what I've said, how you're going to connect all of these ones so that you will have a smooth Wi-Fi connection from each part of your house. Okay, so as you can see, there's nothing connected to these ones yet. It's only this ISP Wi-Fi router because your internet service provider needs to plug you into the network like what I have here. So this one has the internet connection. We are not going to configure this ISP Wi-Fi router. The only thing we need to do is get the IP settings so that we are going to configure the Wi-Fi routers that we are going to connect that will be compatible with the current configuration of the ISP Wi-Fi router. So this is already pre-configured by your ISP or your internet service provider, okay? So no need to configure this one. All we need to do, plug my computer here, check the IP settings that I can get, and then we are going to get that information and use that information to configure additional Wi-Fi routers in the same compatible way that it can interconnect with this router, all right? I'm going to plug this one to my laptop. This is the adapter of my laptop. Go there and then plug it to the any ports here. Now, um, as you can see, there's a blue one there. It says WAN or sometimes it's called internet. This is where they plug the internet. We're not going to plug it there. We're going to plug it to these yellow ports or what we call the LAN ports, all right? I'm going to plug it there and then jump into my laptop, all right? Now that I'm in my laptop right now, what I need to do is, since there are other Wi-Fi connections here, I need to turn this one off, okay? Uh, you can see that I'm connected. This icon says that I'm connected via LAN cable. So I'm just going to go to the search bar and then type in CMD. What I need to know here is the IP settings. So I'm going to go IP config, all right? Now, what we're looking here is something that says Ethernet adapter, Ethernet. Now, if you try to read this one, it says Ethernet adapter Bluetooth. That's not what we're looking for. We have VMware, that's my virtual machine. VMware, that's wireless LAN, that's my wireless adapter. So go up and you can see Ethernet adapter, Ethernet. Now, the only information we need from our ISP router is the default gateway, which is 192.168.0.1. That means to say that this Wi-Fi router's address is this uh, IP address. And that's what we only need here. Once I know that one, take note of that because if you try to type that one here, I'm going to show it to you. We can access this router by typing 192.168.0.1. Okay, so it requires me to log in, but I'm not going to log in because I don't need to configure this one. So at least we know that we can connect here because I'm directly connected to this Wi-Fi router. So it means to say that this Login page is this Wi-Fi router. So I'm just going to cancel this one and close this one. Close that one as well. And then I'm going to power on this Wi-Fi router here. I'm going to power this one on. Then I'm going to transfer my connection to this Wi-Fi router. I'm going to configure this Wi-Fi router. Take note that while I'm configuring this Wi-Fi router, okay, I'm going to plug. It is not connected to the ISP router yet. Nothing's connected. It's only my laptop. Now, if you're going to configure this one, same scenario, you don't need, you don't need, you're not going to plug this blue cable into that internet or one labeled kind of port, which is blue. Some router doesn't give it as blue color, but they are going to label it as WAN or internet. I'm going to plug it to one of the LAN ports. These are the LAN ports. They are marked as one, two, three, four. And then I should be able to connect to this Wi-Fi router and configure this one, all right? So wh while I'm there, um, I'm going to wait for this one to get connected here. Try to check this one if we have connection. Um, one of the things you can quickly do is type again here, go to your search bar and type CMD, and then I'm going to go IP config. Okay, so IP config, 
I'm going to go to that Ethernet adapter again and check the IP address. If you try to see it here, the IP address of this Wi-Fi router is the same with the ISP router. Now, if we are not going to configure this one and directly plug it to our Wi-Fi router here from the ISP, this will give a conflict between both and it will ruin your internet connection. You'll not be able to have Wi-Fi connection. So that's the reason why we need to jump into each Wi-Fi router and configure it first before connecting them together. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, guys, is jump into my web browser and type again 192.168.168.0.1 because they have the same IP address. All right, so as you can see, this is the login page for this one. In some cases, if you are sure that you know the username and password of a Wi-Fi router, uh, you can just go ahead and configure this one. But if somebody have configured this one before, naturally, they might have changed the username and password so you will not be able to log in. Since you are going to use this one for a purpose of reusing it to your house, then we are going to do a full factory reset for this one. Now, if you turn this one at the back, you can see a button here, a hole, actually a hole, that says reset. You need a small pin to push that uh, uh, button there, uh, that hole button. If you're going to press that one for several seconds, it's going to do a factory reset with this one, change, uh, putting every setting to its factory settings. So I'm just going to go here and show you the lights. Okay, if you can, if you can see the lights here, uh, you, you need to observe that one and that's the normal kind of light indicators that you have there because if you're going to push the button at the back, once the lighting is going to change, it means to say that it will go factory settings. I'm going to push this button here, hold it. I can feel that it's pushing and take note of those light indicators if it's going to change. Okay, it turned off and it went back on. So that's what I'm saying. You know when you see it. And I'm going to release that one and this will do a full restart. Okay, so we need to wait for this one. Now again, I'm going to repeat that I did that one because I want to show it to you guys that we can restore the factory settings here and use the login at the back written here, admin, admin, okay? There's an admin, admin, username, and password. So I just want to go back from zero and configure it, all right? So I'm just going to refresh this one. If we can still, okay, we're back. Okay, I refreshed the one and zero that one. So I'm going to go admin. I think I mistyped admin. Okay, we're in. So now that we're in, the first thing that I want to change here is the IP address of this Wi-Fi router so that it will not conflict with our ISP router. So you need to find something that says network or something that says LAN. LAN. And then you will see here IP address. We can easily change this one by deleting that and putting two. So this would be that zero, uh, that zero, that one, that zero, that two. So I'm just going to go ahead and save. This will take actually around a minute because it's going to reboot this Wi-Fi router. And we're going to wait, of course. Now, the next time we're going to log in here, guys, is this should be changed to that two. That will be the IP address of this Wi-Fi router. All right. This has fully restarted and automatically refreshed the web browser and changed it to that too. So that's good news. I'm just going to log in again, admin, then admin, and continue the configuration. Now the next thing I'm, I'm going to do here since I'm configuring this one, I'll go to the wireless settings. I'll, I'll jump into the wireless settings to set the um, SSID. So I'm just going to type in here basement, basement Wi-Fi. Then I'm going to save that um, region. There you go, save. All right, the next thing is the wireless security. Make sure you have a good password. So I'll just make it basement so that it would be easy for the sake of this demo. And I'm going to save it. All right. And the last thing I need to do is disable the DHCP server, okay? Why do we need to disable the DHCP server? Because your ISP has a DHCP server 
And if this has a DHCP server and we connect them together, you will have a conflict again. So in one network, at least we have one DHCP server. So I'm just going to go to DHCP, find this one on your, what kind of router you have, just find that setting and disable it. I'm going to disable that in save. Okay, once it's saved, you could be disconnected from this one because we are only connected with this, but for me, I'm not yet disconnected because I think the computer kind of saved that IP address that I got from here. So uh, we can check the SSID that we have here, turn on our Wi-Fi, then we get to check that we should have basement Wi-Fi. Basement Wi-Fi, I wanna connect here, base, I wanna connect basement, okay. So let me see if we can connect to that. Of course, we don't have internet because um, this is not connected to internet yet. I'll just disconnect this first while waiting for my Wi-Fi to get connected. Okay, you see this one? I think I'm disconnected already. Okay, I'm disconnected. And at this point, I think my Wi-Fi, yeah, is connected, but no internet connection. I don't have internet connection, but if I'm going to plug this one, to this uh, ISP Wi-Fi router, then it should be able to get an IP and connect me to the internet. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and connect it in any of these yellow ports here. Wait for that one to go blink, blink. Okay, we're up there. And then my Wi-Fi. Sometimes you just need to turn this one on and turn it off and try to connect again to kind of refresh the connection. But if we connect and there you go, we say it's connected. I'll go ahead and say Google and we have internet connection. Now the good news here is this is already connected there. I'm connected via Wi-Fi and you can see that I plug it into the yellow port. Do not plug it into this blue port or internet or one if you are doing this one because this will act as a um, access point. Now if you can see that one, it's like that. So what I'm going to show you is, the good thing is, this is 192.168.0.1 and this is .0.2. I can access them using my Wi-Fi. So 192.168.0.2. I have the login page of this one. And then if I'm going to change this one with that one, I will have the login page of this ISP Wi-Fi router. So it's, it means to say that we are in one network. Now the concept here guys for the third router is the same. I'm just going to get another cable. I'm just going to close this one and power this one up. I'm going to power this white attic Wi-Fi router so it's going to turn on. Then I'm going to get a cable. Okay, so while this um, Wi-Fi router is turning on, uh, this attic Wi-Fi router, I wanna make sure that uh, this has um, this is back to its factory settings, okay? So the same scenario, this doesn't have a hold, but there, there is a button here that I can press for several seconds at this area. So I'm going to press that one. You can see the light, it should uh, change. Press for several seconds. And how long? Okay, that's the blink blink. I'm going to release that. By the time this goes to power back on, it should be on its full reset mode. So I'm just going to go back. That should go back to its factory settings. I have another cable here. Again, like what I've shown you guys, okay? This is a one-to-one -one configuration first, okay? Don't plug it to your network first because it's going to ruin everything that you're going to do. So as you can see here, another kind of router. This is an ASUS. It has a white one here. It is all the colors are gray, but there's a marking that says when at this corner, don't plug the cable there. Plug it in other ports that doesn't have when or internet label. So I'm going to plug this first like that. Then plug this to my, to plug it to my computer, laptop. Okay, so there you go. This is directly connected to that Wi-Fi right there. And I'm jump into my, Laptop, what I'm going to do here guys is I want to turn off my Wi-Fi first and there will be no like interference or settings issue. 
So going back to my command prompt, I'm going to type ipconfig and try to check what's the IP address of this Wi-Fi router. So Ethernet, Ethernet. So as you can see, this is a different IP address. That's 168.1.1. Both of these a while back was 0 0.1. So if I'm going to plug this one, this attic Wi-Fi to this, both of these guys, there will be some settings issue. There will be some Wi-Fi disconnection, something like that, if you're going to connect here. So what I'm going to do, guys, is go back to my browser. Then I'm going to type that address, 192.168.1.1. This is a different kind of settings. Uh, that's why I got an ASUS so that you can see different kinds of uh, interface. I'm just going to go skip this setup wizard, okay? I'll just skip this one so that I'm going to go manual on this. Uh, the first thing it's going to do is ask me to set up um, a network or the Wi-Fi name. I'll just do it attic Wi-Fi, okay? And the password would be attic Wi-Fi, okay? For the sake of this demo, attic, attic one way, there's no E. And I'm going to save that, apply. Complete. All right. Now it's going to ask me to change the router password, login, router login, default is admin. It's asking me to set a new password, admin one, two, three, four, five, and then admin one, two, three, four, five. For the sake of this demo again, make it a little bit difficult if this is your Wi-Fi router, okay? So once that's done, it's going to take me to the dashboard. All right. Um, since we already set up the Wi-Fi SSID for this, we can already see, should see, Attic Wi-Fi right here. Okay, Attic Wi-Fi is there, but we're not going to connect because we're going to configure it straight up with this one. So just turn that off to make sure that we are only configuring this one. Now you can see that the, the interface is different, but most of the settings are the same. So the wireless settings, we already set that one up. It asked us to set the settings right away. So we don't need to go there. What we need to do is jump into LAN and again, change the IP address. So you try to see this is 192.168.0.1. This is 0 0.2. We are going to change this one with 0 0.3. So I'm going to put 0 0.3. And then I'll just go ahead and apply. And then of course it would say, okay, this will take time again, and the next time we log in, you try to see this. This is 1.1, .1. this should be 0 0.3. So as you can see the percentage. All right, so you can see here that uh, the LAN IP RTN12 is changed to 0 0.3. That's why it's showing us this one. What we're going to do is change this one with 0 0.3. All right, and then we go enter. We are in the login page of the ASUS Wi-Fi router, admin, and then admin, one, two, three, four, five, enter. Then there you go, we're back here. And always remember, we are going to disable the DHCP server. You cannot see DHCP here, so um, sometimes it is inside LAN settings. So you can see it here, LAN IP, and then DHCP server, click that, and then enable the DHCP server, no then we get to apply, all right? And then we get to wait for it to be applied and then we'll be ready to remove this cable from our uh, computer. Okay, that's 100% complete. We don't need to go back there since that's already configured. All what I have to do is get this one, plug it to basement Wi-Fi. We if your attic is closer to your basement, then you will have a shorter cable to plug it here. But if your attic is closer to your uh, ISP router, then you plug it to your ISP router in any of these ports, okay? So I'm going to plug it there. Now, this should have internet connection. You can see I'm not plugged via cable. You have basement Wi-Fi, I have attic Wi-Fi, and then you have your ISP Wi-Fi router. So I'm just going to go here and then go to my Wi-Fi, turn it on. I'll connect to the ISP Wi-Fi, I mean attic Wi-Fi to check. So we are on basement Wi-Fi. We are uh, connected right away. I'll just check Google. Yes, of course, we have Google or YouTube, okay? 
The next thing I'm going to do is check my uh, change to Attic Wi-Fi. Where is my Attic Wi-Fi? There you go, Attic Wi-Fi is there. I'm going to click that, connect, and then I'm going to type in my password, which is Attic Wi-Fi. We should be able to connect and have internet connection. There you go. We are connected, secured. Got to refresh our YouTube. There you go, we still have, we go for Google. We still have. Now, you can go ahead and cable this one to your basement and then you go ahead and cable this one to your uh, attic or any part in your room. Now that's how simple you can go ahead and configure this one. These are the things that you need to do. You need to make sure you're going to change the IP address of the router so that's going to match the conf uh, so that's going to be compatible with your ISP router the same with the uh, second one and then configure the wireless settings and then lastly disable the DHCP server so that it will not go conflict with your ISP Wi-Fi router now the question is some people might ask how about if we do it if we connect these ones wirelessly okay number one I have a video here on my YouTube channel on how you are going to do that one, but I basically don't recommend doing wireless connection from one Wi-Fi router to another because of reliability. It depends on how strong the signal from one room to another. The big thing that you can have if you're going to do it wired is you will maximize the speed that you have because you have a dedicated line going to one Wi-Fi to another Wi-Fi. Now, if you're going to connect this one wirelessly without using cables, you're just repeating the signal and you will lose some of the speed that you have, okay? So anyways, if you still want to do this one wirelessly, you'll find one of my tutorial on how to do this one wirelessly on the description below, all right? So I hope you have learned something from this video, guys. And if you have any comments and questions, drop a comment down below. If you are new to this YouTube channel, please subscribe. Share this one, like this video, and help me make a dream of 500,000 subscribers. I want to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.